let's do some fishing today. All right, guys, we are all packed up and ready to head up to the pond. You guys ready? Yes. Let's do it. Like a week ago or a couple weeks ago, maybe. Give us a thumbs up for the video. Do it with your other hand. Wait, stay there. And give a thumbs up. And smile. <laughs> hey, thanks. Uh, we're gonna get set up. Today we're going for catfish. They stack, uh, they stocked catfish a couple days ago, uh, just after the 4th of July. So we're gonna set up and get our lines in with some catfish bait. Got going low. We got a shad on this orange roll right uh, orange rod right here. On the other one, on the ugly stick, I have just a worm. No bites yet, but we'll see. All right, he's got a shad and a worm. Let's go check on Ethan. What do you got going on? Um, just got a worm on that one. I'm getting this one set up right now. Worm on one, and what are you putting on that one? I think I'm gonna do an anchovy. Anchovy, cool. Ethan's got a worm and an anchovy. Lauren's got a shad and a worm, and I also have one shad and one worm. Let's see uh, what's biting. I think that might be getting pulled a little bit. I just kind of a couple times aggressively went under, so we'll give it a bit. In other news, I'm eating my breakfast. And the sun is coming up. I literally almost started filming and then I didn't. And then it tapped right when I decided not to. That's a worm. Worm. Hey, look at me. E. E. My black pole just had a little bit of a tap on it. I'm interested to see because I think it might be a catfish because it's an anchovy with a bigger hook. I really don't know if a bluegill would go for that. I'm gonna crush the All righty, so my line got bit and I pulled it in. No more worm. So uh, I think I'm gonna throw another worm on there, but I gotta make sure that it doesn't come off next time. Um, my leader was getting a little short, so I decided to get some new line, decided to get some new line and I'm going to tie a new leader. This was my hook before. Oh, what? Fish confirmed. Hold that up to Can the I camera. Can I get some pliers? Uh, it's a nice one. Big hook for this guy. Yeah. Okay, back to what I was saying. My other leader was too short, so I tied on a new leader and I'm gonna put on a new hook. This hook is gonna be a little bit smaller. This is the new hook size, so it's a little bit smaller. I think it'll be better. Uh, it'll, the worm will hide this a little bit better. use a fake worm because I think it'll stay on the hook better we'll see if it's good enough to trick the fish though looks oh, pretty real dang it 
<laughs> I freaking dropped the whole thing. Good morning. All right. I put some uh, Lunker lotion on it just to give it a little smell. It's the crawdad one. We'll see if it works, but there it is. Let's hope a catfish grabs onto that. I went ahead and took one of my barrel weights off as well. Just felt a little too heavy, so I just got one barrel weight on there now, and let's see if that helps. Just gonna put them in a bag and keep them on ice. What you got, E? Another one. Smaller hook, hopefully it didn't go as deep. About the same size. Come on, bro. Well, guys, Ethan's on too. Lauren and I haven't caught one yet. And you're gonna give us some of your good luck. All right, he's a little occupied. I hate these things. Zoom into that pole. There's like three birds. Sorry, over there. Look at that. I think those are vultures. All right, I'm getting bites on both of my lines. The action has been picking up. I need to pay attention to my lines and try to get one in. Uh, he keeps wrapping you up in the weeds, huh? Lauren just got a little tap. These fish seem to be kind of picky. or not picky, but they they pick up your bait and then they spit it. What do you have on there a worm? Fake worm. Fake worm? Yeah. I think those vultures are having a meeting. Oh, I'm getting bit. Sheldon thinks he has a fish. Looks like maybe another bluegill or green sunfish or something. Oh, is he a big boy? Oh, yeah. That's bigger than mine. Oh, that's way bigger than mine. That's a fatty right there. Look at that. Oh, I'm zoomed in quite a bit. Beautiful. <laughs> that's a good one, man. Let's get this hook out. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to get a release on him. Seems like he's got some fight in him. There he goes. That's some shubs. We did it, guys. He's been biting my line for so long, and we finally did it. So, thank you so much. <laughs> guys, I gave him the permission to take it, and he took it. I think that's the trick. Just because you got bait out there doesn't mean that the fish knows that they have permission to eat it. You have to give a verbal, you have to give verbal consent to the fish. So I was like, just take it. Just go ahead and take it. And then he took it. Right. Just take it, bro. Just go ahead and take it. I give you permission to take my worm and just take it away. I give you permission. Alrighty, guys. Been out here for a little while. And uh, I've got two. And Sheldon's got one. I think Sheldon beat me with size. But I got the... I got the... The most landed ethan on number three good job e woohoo show the camera nice Ew. you get me the pliers you got it let's get them in all right there you have it guys there's my third just got my lines back in the water and i uh, thought i'd check in looks like everyone's sort of switching over to the bluegill idea instead of catfish but you never know thought we'd be here for catfish they stocked about a week ago yeah no catfish today no luck but uh bluegill are eating so i'm getting a bite Alrighty, folks that sun up there it's getting brutal i think it's officially time to switch hats That's better. Well guys, nothing too crazy has happened for maybe the last 15 or 20 minutes. Been getting little bites, but um, nobody's caught anything in the last little bit. 
So uh, I got both of my lines in. What? I don't really want to leave. There's 30 of them. He says there's 30 of them over there that size. I don't know about that. Anyway. Look at this, guys. Look how many bluegill are right here. I was walking to go to the bathroom and I just noticed <laughs> all up in this circle right here. Seems to me that maybe they have some beds around here. There's so many of them and they're all bigger ones, you know? I've never seen that many bluegill this size in this uh, little pond here. Show him got one, but I'm not totally sure. Got him. <laughs> nice, Shebs. Yep. I think Lauren and I both are. Right, right on the lip. That's how we like it. Let <laughs> oh. me help. Got it. Let's do a quick release on this one. Yep. There you go. That's a money fish. Nice. There he goes. Money fish. Which, which one's that for you? Oh. Number two. Number two? All right, Lauren might be on one. Oh, what in the world? A massive bush. He got a real bite though. I think it came off on the way in. Too bad. So I moved my way over here a little bit. You can see Lauren and Ethan are over there. I don't really want to leave. There's 30 of them. He says there's 30 of them over there that size. I don't know about that. I'm comfy right here. So I just followed this line all the way to where I am. And I'm fishing here uh, for some bluegill. But something I noticed that's kind of funny. <laughs> so if I show you the water, there's little you can see little white dots. So see that one and see that one? Over here, there's some more I'll show you. See those white dots? Those are golf balls. And so I was thinking, where's where are the golf balls coming from? And that's when I turned to look this way. There's the road right there and that's a golf course over there. So people are hitting their golf balls so hard that it's coming over the fence across the road all the way boom into the water here kind of funny that they get their golf balls to come all the way over here but that could be pretty dangerous i mean imagine somebody's driving right there and a golf ball comes flying at them and hits their car All right, guys, check this out. Number five, right in the lip with a piece of hot dog. <laughs> Number six, I found the honey hole <laughs> right in the lip with those hot dogs. All right, guys, let's get the release on them. There it goes. All right, guys, that's my biggest of the day. That's lucky number seven of today. Let's get a release on them. Oh, he's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, let him pick it, pick it, Quan. Ooh, dragonfly. Oh, and that, listen, now that's an obstacle. That's an awful little obstacle. Best way to do this is, uh, oh, Me off. You want to tell me something why this keeps happening to me? Over there that way. Over there that way. Over there that way. Over there that way. Charging, charging, charging. Eat it. Eat it. Little guys are freaking scaring them away. How the crap does this work? I caught three when you were over there, and now... Maybe I'm just a bad rook. Could be. I think this is one. I think this is one right here. I just gotta get it on the right. That's one right there, baby. 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 A couple right there. Gotta be patient. You just have to be patient is all. Take it, big guy. Come on, now. Come on now, take it. <laughs> Alright guys, Ethan's got one. I think that's nice. Big. Let's get it up close. He ain't as big as the other guys, but... Nice. Alright, let's, let's, let's get back in. I call it easy release. Cut. Easy release. Wait. This is what I call an easy release. There he goes. All right. I don't even know what number this is. Uh, he's a pretty good sized one. I caught so many today. Right? Let's put him back. Uh, you know, casting a little line with a hook into the water. And how many fish did you catch? Countless, bro. Zilch. Lauren caught zero. I got zilch. Is this what it feels like to be Sheldon? Yes. Yep. Alrighty, thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you in the next one.